one of the silent and unsung heroes of this entire endeavor so far, not unlike Joseph, has been um, the parish of St. Anne. When we started this, we were in just one house, and of course we expanded, as you know, to four houses. And as such, we sort of envelop the parish, and we sort of take it over at times. The parish has been so very generous to us, allowing us to use the church with constancy because we are too large for our chapel and all of our various liturgies and classroom space on two to three to four days a week, depending. And of course, there's a man walking around here in every square inch all the time. We've sort of absorbed all of their free space, but it's been a great, really fantastic complementary relationship. And we've been able to benefit from all the parishioners that are here. It's a very strong parish. And Father Reed has been tremendous, as have all the parishioners. Whenever I'm around the St. Joseph Seminarians, it's very clear that they are genuine, solid young men with a contagious love for the truth. It just exudes from them, being around them. It's such a blessing to be able to see the seminarians on a regular basis. You know, we see them praying and playing and working and studying. And those same young men that my children see now in formation may one day be ministering the sacraments to them, baptizing their children, uh, ministering to them in sickness or even in death. Just here in Charlotte, we're, we're a great big family. And so it makes sense, it's appropriate that the seminarians would be formed here in the midst of the family that they're gonna serve one day as priests. Paul and I have been parishioners here at St. Anne's for probably 20 years. We have definitely enjoyed having the seminarians on campus. I just feel that their presence have, have brought a lot of joy to St. Anne's because I think seeing them, you just have hope for the future. And whenever we see them at Mass, it just brings me to a higher level and it makes me just feel closer to God. Yeah, and the seminarians, I think, really had an aura of uh, of holiness uh, here to the campus at St. Anne's. Paul and I usually try to make daily mass uh, each day, seven o'clock a.m. and usually we uh, get there about 30 minutes before and when you can go in to the church and see the seminarians in there saying their morning prayers, how wonderful it is. It just gets you in the right mood. Also, I love on Sunday evenings when we come to the Vespers services. We are very blessed to be able to have the seminarians here at St. Anne's, but we certainly realize that they came from all these different parishes all across our diocese, and just to have them here with us for a time has, has really been a wonderful experience, and it has just, I believe, made us feel closer to everyone in the whole diocese. And then it's been a special experience having them right here at St. Anne's, and we'll certainly miss them when they leave from St. Joseph Seminary. I just want to give a very heartfelt thank you, a debt of gratitude we owe you, and you're always welcome at our new place. So I thank you, the seminary thanks you, the men thank you, and God bless you all.